You should be ashamed of yourself. You're really despicable. All right. All right, you guys may be seated. All right, plaintiff, go ahead, start. Thank you, Your Honor. As you can imagine, life is hard enough for my client who is disabled. But what makes it even harder is dealing with negligent business owners like the defendant here. <laughs> that is not what's going on here. Wait your turn, defendant. You may continue. Thank you, Your Honor. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. My client here was using the restroom at the defendant's place of business. He was trying to get up when... May I approach the bench, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Thank you. As you can see, my client was holding on for dear life to grab the bar for support. But it was improperly attached, causing him to fall on the floor and injure his head. Thankfully, I was nearby to help take the photos. But if the defendant wasn't trying to cut corners, and do such a shoddy job. I did not try to cut any corner. Hey, you can speak when it's your turn. Continue. But if the defendant wasn't so negligent in installing that bar, my client wouldn't be in a neck brace today. Therefore, we are demanding the defendant to pay $25,000 in damages and all attorney fees. $25,000, that's gonna- Order. I'm not gonna tell you. Be quiet again. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Go ahead and finish. That's all I have, Your Honor. But the evidence, it speaks for itself. All right. Now, what do you have to say about all this? Okay, look, that grab bar was not negligently installed. I did it myself, and I know I didn't cut any corners. How do you explain all these pictures, then? I don't know. Well, it looks like all of the evidence is heading in one direction. It's clear that the defendant is negligent in creating injuries to our plaintiff. Therefore, I have to rule in favor of the plaintiff. No, Your Honor, please. I'll have to close out my business. The decision's been made. Tomorrow, we'll get together and we'll talk about the damages. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I hope you learned your lesson. When you take advantage of people, it comes back to you. All right, uh, next case, uh, Tabitha Clemens versus Jake Odell. Amazing. Mm, like clockwork. <laughs> you really think we'll get the full 25 grand? Don't we always? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to squeeze out as much as I can in attorney fees. This thing is really starting to itch. My butt is really sore, so I'm just gonna stand. What are you doing? If anyone sees you, we'll both be exposed. Let's get out of here first. Plus, I found another business to hit up. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be an easy one. <laughs> this one has a dressing room that's perfect. Mm. So just give me a couple minutes and then come in. Okay, Pookie. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Your screwdriver is sticking out. Yeah. Oopsies. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad, huh? <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome. <laughs> Can I? Yeah, sure. Oh. 
Hey, let me um, let me help you with that. Ah, oh, thank you. That's so kind. Uh, hi, welcome in. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you mind if I try this on in the back? Of course. Thank you. because it fell when I was holding onto it. Ah! Oh, oh, I think I broke something. I'm so sorry to hear that. Would you like us to call you an ambulance? First, I want to talk to an attorney. Ah, okay, I can't find my phone. Uh, here it is. Watch the lights. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, or, uh, uh, I don't mean to overstep. My name is Stephanie, and I'm actually a personal injury attorney. I specialize in ADA cases. Really? And you would help me? Yes, of course. No one deserves to be treated like this, especially someone in a wheelchair. Is it okay if I take some pictures? That's fine. Why is it so cold? It's almost over. Girl. Tell the owner he will be hearing from my office soon. This was really negligent of you guys. We'll let him know. And again, we're so sorry for what happened. You should be. Um, I just need one more second. Why are you taking pictures? Okay, look, this is gonna be hard to believe, but that guy was faking it all. He did the same thing to my business. Wow. Uh, yeah. You can tell just by looking at the holes. Well, what do you mean? Well, just look at the way that the screws came out of the wall. That's way too smooth to have been pulled out. So that means that somebody came by and unscrewed them. I would have never thought of that. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have seen the look on their face. It was priceless. Oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before I forget, here's that settlement from the restaurant case last week. Wow. That is the easiest money I've ever made in my life. Well. <laughs> It was a pleasure doing business with you, as always. Mm -hmm. I better get going. So here is your wheelchair. Thanks. <laughs> ha! I got you now. What are you doing here? <laughs> you two are the biggest fraudsters on the planet. Can't wait until the judge finds out about this. Get ready to go to jail for a very long time. The judge won't find out about this. What are you talking about? I got the pictures right here. Oh. You and hey, yeah, 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 Stephanie. So where's your evidence now? 
Oh, ooh, ooh. Should I say cheese? Oh, so close. <laughs> okay, you know what? It doesn't even matter. No? I'll just tell the judge what I saw. Oh, and you think he'll believe you? <laughs> <laughs> you really don't think he's going to know what's going on here? When I tell him that you're going from business to business pulling off the same scam? Oh, well, it's not a crime to get injured at different places. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just a, an attorney. Well, not for long. <laughs> we'll see you in court. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, don't forget the checkbook. <laughs> okay, look, I'm telling you, Your Honor, this is all one big scam. I saw it with my own eyes. Is there any truth to this? None whatsoever, Your Honor. He's just trying to paint us in a bad light to avoid taking responsibility for his own negligence. I urge the court to issue punitive damages to punish the defendant for his lies. Well, you are accusing them of some very serious crimes. Do you have any evidence uh, to substantiate your accusations? Well, like I said, she crapped my memory card and then she ate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, ate it? I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I've heard some pretty outrageous stories in my day, but that one takes the cake. You can look up their court record. They have a history of filing cases against businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, even so, it's not illegal to have multiple injuries. In fact, it's kind of common among ADA cases. So my ruling stands. No, 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 no. Please. Look, that would mean I have to shut down my whole business. And look, I'm telling you the truth, OK? You just have to believe me. Without proof to substantiate your story. It's just hearsay. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you have any evidence? No. All right, well then I hereby uh, award 25,000 to the plaintiff for the demand along with you know, another 10,000 for your attorney fees. Stop. Your Honor, the plaintiff and his attorney are both frauds. Liar! Who is this guy? I mean, why should we be listening to him? Oh, well, maybe because I'm the one with the folder full of photos of you committing fraud. Oh, and uh, for what it's worth, I'm an undercover federal agent. Your Honor, I've been investigating these two for quite a while now. Oh, wow. This is <laughs> unbelievable. Oh. And Looks like you've been telling the truth from the beginning, defendant. Oh. Okay, it was all her idea, she made me do it. Oh, be quiet! You're just as guilty as I am. Arrest those two. Arrest, <laughs> arrest me. You can't do that, I am an attorney. Get off of me! You were an attorney. I'm gonna make sure that you never practice law again. Oh. Get these handcuffs off of me! Well, you're right about one thing. When you take advantage of people, it always comes back to you. <laughs> Wait, oh, what are you no, talking no, I, about? I cannot go back to prison. That's not a good place. I am an officer in the court of law. Thank you. Well, this case is dismissed. Grand. Don't be hearing it. people's stories about how it's changed their life has changed my life. Don't do crimes and don't go to jail, and you'll have a good life. And watch Darman.